The next types of charts that we'll dive into are histograms and Pareto charts. They sound super fancy, but trust me, they're not that complicated. The one thing I will preface is that histograms look a whole lot like column charts, but they're very, very different, so don't confuse the two. Column charts are designed to show volume. Histograms are designed to show frequencies. So along the x-axis of a histogram, rather than having category labels, you've got bins or ranges of values where the height of the rectangle associated with those bins indicate the number of observations that fall within those ranges. A Pareto chart is just a slight variation of a histogram where the bins are reorganized from highest frequency to low and a line is overlaid showing the total cumulative frequency. So these charts are commonly used for showing the distribution of a continuous data set. It's great for showing things like the frequency of test scores among a student group or the distribution uh, of a population by ages or by age group. Uh, one of the most common examples is to show how a population is distributed in terms of heights or weights. Um, so pro tips here, the first is that you can actually adjust the bin size to customize how you want to group the values or ranges of values. And second, Pareto charts are a great way to show the cumulative impact of each bin ordered by frequency or significance. So let's practice building some of these. Okay, so in your data visualization exercises workbook, go ahead and click the histogram and Pareto charts tab. Here we've got a great little sample data set uh, with a number of observations that include names, heights, weights, and ages. If I scroll down, looks like I've got just over a thousand observations, which is great. Histograms tend to work best when you have a large data set containing continuous variables. So in this case, the goal is going to be to show how heights, weights, and ages are distributed among this sample population. So all I need to do is select the column that I'm interested in. Let's start with height. And I'll go into Insert, my Statistic Chart section, and choose Histogram. So Excel drops it in. It automatically determined what it think makes sense for bin sizes. I can actually adjust these as I see fit. So these bins represent ranges of heights in inches and the number of observations that fall within those ranges. So this tells me that there are 89 people in the sample who are between 70.2 and 71 inches tall. So it's a bin size of 0.8 inches. I can right click and format the axis and customize the bins myself. So you can see it defaults to automatic. In this case, let's set the bin width to one inch just to make it a bit more intuitive and readable. So you see kind of a normal distribution, this classic bell curve here where the majority of observations fall uh, within a relatively narrow range of heights, and then you've got some outliers on either end of the tails. So let's add a title just so that it's a bit more clear what we're looking at. Let's call it height distribution. And there you go. So now if I want to create uh, the Pareto version of this, I'm not going to start from scratch. All I need to do is copy this histogram paste it here, and I can either go into Chart Tools, Change Chart Type, or I can right click, Change Chart Type, and here's my Pareto option. As you can see, all it did was just reorganize those bins from highest frequency to lowest and overlay that line chart showing cumulative frequency. So if we wanted to do the same thing for weight, again, let's not reinvent the wheel here. Let's just copy what we've got paste them right here below. And with my first histogram selected, all I need to do is drag this reference that Excel has highlighted for me over to the weight column. And there you have it. I'm done. So I'll do the same thing and, and customize my bin sizes. Right now it defaulted to 7.3 pounds. Uh, let's make it 10 pounds just to make it super clear. And change the title so that we're not looking at heights anymore. We're looking at weight distribution. And then same case with my Pareto. Boom, just drag it over. Format my axis. Change the bin width to 10 pounds. And change my title to weight. So now same exact process here. 
can just copy those, paste them down below, deselect and then go into my weight histogram and just drag it right on over to age, customize the bin sizes. Why don't we make this uh, two years instead of 1.5, change the chart title to age distribution, and then you know the drill. Same deal with Pareto. Drag it over to age, format the axis, customize the bin width to two, just so that we're being consistent, and we'll change that title to age distribution. So there you go, in about two or three minutes I've created histograms and Pareto charts showing how this population is distributed in terms of heights, weights, and ages. So good example of how to use histograms and Pareto charts in Excel.